days like these, we always want to remind people to take care of their outdoor pets, especially dogs that live outside. In Camel this evening, City Council decided to take protecting outdoor dogs a step further, banning tethering altogether. First News reporter Desiree Gosselin has the story. It is new tonight at 10. Tonight, City Council voted in Camel to unanimously approve their new tethering ordinance. It makes tethering animals within the city illegal. Well, the ordinance is pretty simple. No tethering. Third Ward Councilman Joseph Mazaka Jr. says he's passionate about the issue because he loves his own dogs. It's your family. You brought him into the, your house. He didn't ask to be in your house. You brought him into the house. Treat him like the family member that you say he is. Council voted four to zero to approve the law. If you want to take your dog out, let him do his business, get some fresh air, you bring him back in. But there's no more day and night, all kinds of weather, you're keeping your dog outside in the city of Camel. This ordinance stems from a problem law enforcement noticed in the city. You know, Officer Conroy came to us, he shows pictures of dogs being out day and night, sleeping underneath trucks and cars, sleeping underneath porches, no more. This law, he says, is to avoid abuse and neglect, not to take pets away. Love that dog, because he'll love you back. <laughs> Reporting in Camel, Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27 First News. Today, Maine local communities continuing their efforts in preventing animal abuse. After one Mahoning County community passed a new anti-tethering law, it's already penalizing a handful of residents who are allegedly mistreating their pets. I caught up with Animal Charity as they explain how these local laws are saving lives. This is going to help protect those animals. City of Camel officials passing an anti-tethering ordinance back in July that penalizes pet owners who fix their pets to a single point on their property for long periods of time. The point of having an anti-tethering law is to prevent animals living outside on chains. And by Camel doing this, it's showing precedent for our entire area. While this ordinance passed just two months ago, it's already being put to use here in Camel. Just on Friday, there were court cases about pet owners who allegedly violated violated this law. The incidents happening along two neighboring homes on Lord's Lane, which neighbors tell me is a typically quiet and safe area. Ariel Rivera and Christina Spencer are now facing charges of animal cruelty and tethering of dogs after Camel police found them tethered in deplorable conditions. They're pretty proactive out there in Camel. They're showing a lot of initiative of breaking down some barriers and getting these animals protected. Animal Charity says they wish more communities had these types of laws that provide specific restrictions on tethering. And if you suspect that there's a dog that's been outside for 24 hours a day and there's an anti-tethering law, or even multiple hours a day when the owner is not home, then you absolutely should call the police um, for that city.